Kevin, I guess what's what's it uh, been like the past couple of days, weeks, I guess, at this point uh, outside of the facility with all of this stuff going on? And, and now that you guys are back into the facility, how much different uh, is your week of preparation as opposed to any other that you've had? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was tough, obviously. Um, I mean, last week we kind of treated it as, you know, as, as a bye week is what it was. Um, but obviously, you know, going through the different emotions of, you know, guys – getting tested positive, understanding that it's affecting our teammates and their families and, and our families as well. Um, but also trying to really stay engaged and trying to make sure that, hey, we don't really know if we're going to play uh, this week, next week, you know, watching all the comments and what other teams and players and coaches saying around the league about if we should forfeit games. So we definitely uh, took – I took note of that for sure. Um, but, yeah, it was tough. But at the end of the day, man, I'm very excited and happy that we're back in the building today been seeing a couple of the guys, you know, just showing up to the locker room and stuff like that. So it's fun. We're happy to be back and uh, try to come here and focus on winning the ball game. I mean, obviously, uh, the league has – the league and the NFLPA has uh, made some tighter protocols, some better protocols for us that hopefully uh, won't allow something like this to happen again. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be different. So we're going to have different protocols we're going to go about. But at the end of the day, you know, we're not going to make any excuses, man. We're going to come in here and focus on what we need to focus on, and that's winning the ball game. Uh, Jim, KB, what what have you been able to do leading up to this game? You know, whether it's on Zoom meetings, watching film, you know, getting ready where you're not so far behind the eight ball as you hit the practice field today. Yeah, I mean, even from from last week, you've been doing Zoom meetings. Uh, all this week, we've been doing Zoom meetings. Obviously, haven't been able to work out anywhere other than you know my backyard and my house and my Peloton bike. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Um, like I said, I kind of treated last week as a bye week. I feel like my legs are fresh. I feel fresh. Um, and I'm just excited. Just been trying to stay mentally locked in. And I think that's going to be the biggest thing heading to this game, making sure that we're all mentally on the same page. So when we go out there, we can play fast and aggressive. Uh, Teron? Yeah, KB, what are the next couple of days of preparation look like for you? Because I know you're a guy that likes to really hone in on details and see them. So how do the next couple of days look for you? Yeah, I mean, they're going to be, I mean, we're going to, we're going to do like some walkthroughs and stuff like that today. Um, but like you said, man, I, that's why I'm so thankful to be back in the building today because I, I honestly, I mean, I will speak from, for myself for sure. I know, you know, being, going to a game without any practice is not really being around the guys, not being able to, like you said, hone on the details, being on the field, at least for walkthroughs or something. It had been tough. So to be back in the building, be able to do some different things with the guys, have the communications and stuff like that. Uh, it's going to be really good for us. So that's going to be main focus for the rest of the week, man, just holding on details, getting back to talking to each other, communicating, not just on Zoom means, but actually, you know, face-to-face -face with each other. So that's going to be key. So I'm happy we're going to be able to do that. Because see uh, in your face when, when you talked about making a note of what other people have said, does that kind of make you guys dial in even more and become more focused? Like, is that something that you could use just as, as another tool to, to – hyper and intensify your focus? Yeah, most definitely. Because like, like I said, man, I've been, obviously I've been doing nothing but sitting at the house. So, you know, watching different stuff on the media, saying things about the team. And I mean, we obviously know, man, we're still in a pandemic. I mean, obviously the protocols that we had and that we have, they're not foolproof. Um, but at the end of the day, they're supposed to help, you know, mitigate the risk and things like that. So, you know, to see a lot of the, the comments that I seen, you know, around, around the league, um, like I said, I, I took note of that for sure, and I'm definitely—it's definitely going to motivate me for sure uh, to let the guys know about what you know what people have been saying. I'm pretty sure they've seen it, um, what people have been saying about us as a team. I mean, at the end of the day, we're three and zero, and you know we're trying to go four and zero at the end of this week. Uh, Mike Giardi. Hey Kevin, I I'm just curious if there's any you know looking back on the last ten days and and now with the the league and the PA conducting investigations. If there's any, for lack of a better term, any regret on gathering offsite from amongst some of your teammates? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'm pretty sure Variable and Tannehill's probably said the same answers. Um, obviously, I wouldn't really call it an investigation. I would say they're doing a review, you know, about, you know, the protocols and the stuff that we followed or not. So, you know, I really can't comment on that until, you know, they're finished with their investigation. I know we've been fully transparent about everything we've done from the players to coaches and everybody. We all talked to the NFL. We all talked to the NFLPA and let them know about everything that's been going on the past 10 days. So, 
like I said, once once the NFL make a comment, then I'm pretty sure you know we'll be back on here and I have a comment then. Uh, Emily. Hey, Kevin, uh, how much, you know, responsibility do you take to, to get the guys mentally prepared um, at being in, in that leadership position? I know Mike Rabel spoke about the mental health component to all of this. How much are you checking in on guys and making sure they're doing well? Yeah, that was a big thing, uh, you know, checking in with the guys. Um, I mean, hopefully we'll be able to get some of the guys back for this game. I'm sure we won't be able, won't be able to get everybody. I've checked on a couple of guys uh, throughout the past 10 days. Uh, some guys that I knew that tested positive, uh, just check on to see how they was doing, see how they was feeling. Um, you know, it, it was definitely tough, but as a leader uh, on this team, now that we're back in the building, I do take responsibility to make sure that we're all really upbeat and we're positive. Obviously, these aren't the best circumstances. We're not, you know, we're obviously, I wouldn't say we're at a disadvantage, but we're not in the same position as every other team in the league with, you know, stricter protocols, not being able to practice the past two weeks. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to have to look you know, look at the positive situation, happy that we're back and understand that, you know, every we're not promised another opportunity. We're not promised another practice. We're not promised another game. So we got to take full advantage of every time, everything that we're doing and be really intentional about every single rep that we can get throughout this week and for the rest of the season. Uh, Luke? Kevin, there's obviously a lot of momentum that comes with a 3-0 and start, and I would imagine at least some of that has maybe been derailed from all of this. How do you as a leader get the team ready to go in and sort of pick up where you left off, especially against a team like Buffalo that kind of hits you in the mouth early? Yeah, I mean, they're definitely a physical bunch. Uh, we've played in the past uh, two years, and every single game has been physical. They've been close. Um, honestly, I would kind of look at, you know, in the NFL, I think every week is different. Uh, I don't think, you know, one momentum or from one week, you know, pretty much carries on to the other. I think you have to build momentum throughout the week. And I think that's one of the main things we're going to have to do starting today, making sure that we're building that momentum as we get back on the field and uh, kind of knocking the dust off a little bit, as I would say, as far as like the communication and little small things about being on the field, uh, getting our position specific uh, drills in and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, obviously they're four and zero, we're three and zero. Somebody has to have one loss at the end of this week, and hopefully it won't be us. Uh, Kayla. They got mine, Robbie. I'm good. Uh, Terry. KB, you talked about being able to get back in the building and what that means for you. And in regards to the things that went on last week, it was maybe part of the impetus of thinking that that would, that that needed to happen in terms of getting together done for the fact that simply the Steelers game was still on the schedule at the time and hadn't been moved. Um, like I said, I don't really have any comments on, you know, any off the field or, you know, out of the building facility workouts. Like I said, I mean, it's under review right now. So once we, you know, once we get some further information on that from the NFL, then I'll be able to comment on that. Uh, John. Yeah, Kevin, I hope this question is a little bit different than the last one, but just wondering about, you know, when everything shut down on the, on the 29th, you know, can you talk about your kind of mindset and maybe your teammates kind of mindset uh, again, knowing that you still felt at that point, like uh, there was going to be a game coming up and, and, you know, kind of what your mindset was in terms of, you know, needing to be ready, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody's mindset at the end, I guess, once they finally, so obviously once the first test, obviously um, we were still supposed to be playing the game. Uh, and I think that was everybody's mindset until we wasn't going to play. And after that, like I said, we treated it as a bye week. And uh, I guess guys rest their body and stuff like that. And now we're here with the Bills. So, like I said, as far as off the field and, you know, out of facility workouts, like I said, I can't really comment on that. But other than that, uh, you know, we're here with the Bills, man. We're ready to play, we're really focused. We're trying to win a ball game. And that's the main thing. Yeah, And along those lines, uh, you know, obviously we're going to see some new faces and some – guys with less experience, whether it's, a, you know, in your position group or otherwise, uh, you tell them about, you know, what kind of opportunity this is uh, for them that they, you know, might not get otherwise? I mean, it's a huge opportunity. I think it's a huge opportunity for every single body on this team, the fact that we're back playing football, uh, back to playing another NFL game, something that we're blessed to do every single day that we come in this building. Uh, we always have the next man up mentality in this building, whether it's at any, at any position. Um, and, I don't, I don't think it's something that I had to really preach to a guy that may not play that much that's going to get their first opportunity to play. I think it's something they've been probably working for their whole entire life to be able to, if not start or get snaps in the NFL game. So I'm pretty sure um, 
they're going to be thinking about that all week. So I don't think I really have to preach that too much. But uh, at the end of the day, man, uh, I'm going to be happy for whoever go out there and play. We're going to expect them to play at a high level, and that's just what it's going to be. Thanks. Uh, I got time for a couple more. Uh, Paul? KB, has the league been fair? Do you feel the league has been fair up to this point while you guys have worked to be transparent? Yeah, I mean, I think they've been doing their due diligence, uh, just like the NFLPA. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know if – like I said, I, when, when I was speaking on uh, about comments that I've seen in the media or um, – different teams or players and, and different stuff that I've been seeing. That's what I was talking about. But as far as the NFL, NFL PA, as far as their review and stuff like that, yeah, I mean, I think they're doing a due diligence is what they're supposed to do. Uh, you know, this, this is a, a serious matter as far as the pandemic and COVID-19. So I, I would definitely think that they're being fair. Uh, Kyle? Yeah, when you, when you mentioned sort of taking note of things that have been said, using it as motivation, what was there – a specific, one thing in particular that really kind of bothered you that someone said about you guys? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put nobody's name out there, any teams or stuff like that. But, you know, just certain comments about, you know, we should forfeit and, you know, just, just different comments like that kind of frustrated me because, um, like I said, this we're in a pandemic. This is something that um, I, I just believe that if you if anybody went into the season thinking that, you know, there weren't going to be a couple positive tests or outbreaks somewhere uh, of all 32 teams, I think that was kind of foolish to think. I mean, obviously, we're not trying – we wasn't trying to be the team that had the outbreak. We're not trying to get COVID-19. Um, so, like I said, I think it's just, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely took note of that because I'm like, if it would happen to somebody else, you know, would people be saying the same thing? So, uh, Last one, Jim. KB, you, you've had bye weeks before. This is the first time you've had a situation in season where you've gone two weeks straight, really, without practice. And can you use momentum that you that you got to get to three and over? In a lot of ways, is it kind of like starting over? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you, you you have to start all over. I think it's kind of like every single week you start your preparation, you start start your routine all over again, and you build momentum for that week to get into the next game. I don't really think that you know, from one week or to another, you really, you know, keep momentum going. Uh, it's all about going out there, trying to execute the best the best to your ability and uh, doing what you're coached to do throughout the week because every game plan is different. Every week is different. Uh, the keys to the game is going to be different. The details to the game are going to be different. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's going to be the main thing. Let's build momentum as best as we can to get all the little details that we can about this game plan. And just going out there and playing. I mean, obviously, we haven't played in two weeks, but, you know, I think guys should be amped up. I think we should be able to get some guys back. Some guys should be fresh. So, man, we're just going to go out there and give it our all. I lied. I, I missed one. Uh, Chris Harris, last one. Yeah, thanks. Hey, KB, I was just wondering what you think. You know, so you guys have made it two straight days now with no positive test, but there's still three more days to go. And given what you went through last week, is it almost like we're not taking anything for granted and we'll just see what happens? Yeah, I mean, this is one of those deals where, you know, you don't really know. I think the only thing we can control is what we can control, uh, and that's just by staying positive. Uh Obviously, it has been a lot of positive news the past 10 days. So the fact that we're back in the building, we're going to use that as, you know, as some positive things to focus on. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. I mean, obviously, I'm hopeful that we don't get any more positive tests. But at the end of the day, man, I can only control what I can control is my energy today in the building, uh, being positive um, and just trying to be a leader for the team.